True story. A friend from church hit me up last week asking if I could build a booking platform for his tutoring business. He wasn't asking for anything crazy, just teachers, students, you know, he needed scheduling and payments, you know, the, the basic stuff. And I almost said no. I, and I honestly, I told him, realistically speaking, dude, we're looking at weeks of work and that will cost you a couple thousand dollars to get that done, especially if you want it to be perfect, maybe north of 10,000 bucks. And then I remember that Abacus AI had been bugging me to try out their new deep agent tool. And I remember them saying that it can build full stack apps, front and back end from just prompts. And of course I was a bit skeptical and honestly like, I figured, well, what the hell, why not? Let me see if this thing can actually do it. Okay, so now we're here using Deep Agent with Abacus AI. And so what happened when I built this is I pretty much opened it up and I typed the requirements, build me a tutoring platform, plus listed everything I needed. Like everything from like, um, from the teacher profiles, time slots, Stripe payments, email confirmations, you name it. And what's really interesting too, is that like, instead of just building it, when this actually happened, it asked me questions, which I was not expecting because like usually AI just builds it, but it asked me not just any questions, but good questions. It asked me things like payment flow timing, should teachers set their own rates, how to handle emails, authentication, what else on here, um, lesson duration. And, and again, I wasn't expecting that because most AI tools, they tend to kind of guess while with this one, this one tried to actually clarify things first before moving forward, so that was pretty cool. Then, after I answered its questions, it asked me for something else. Now, I'm not gonna show this because I'm not gonna, I don't wanna show my API keys, but it asked me for my Stripe API keys, and then it asked for my recent API secrets, and honestly, this is when I actually realized while building this, well, I'm not really building it, Deep Agent's building it. I realized that Deep Agent isn't just like generating code like everyone else. It's actually integrating real services. Like, this is crazy. This, this thing is going to actually deploy something live. Then from there, it started to scaffold, right? Like it built a Postgres database with Prisma ORM, next off for authentication, setting up the schema right? From the user's table, bookings, teacher profiles, availability slots, you name it. And like, I just kept watching it create file after file, lots of files from API routes, components, offloads, seeding scripts, and et cetera. And then after about 10 minutes, guess what? It finished and it gave me a URL. So let's take a look at what it actually built. This is actually kind of crazy. And this is what it loaded, kind of crazy. This looks pretty great. And by the way, I didn't give it a name for the company. It just decided to use the word Tutor Pro, which I think is actually a pretty good name. Um, and you get a full out freaking landing page. This is crazy. But but here's what actually got me. So I created an account. I wanted to be a teacher in this tutoring platform. And look what it gave me. It showed me how many lessons I have booked this week. Again, this is all like fake data, of course. Total number of students, hours taught, earnings, really relevant things that you want to know as a tutor and you have the ability to manage your availability. So it pretty much worked, right? So I'm in the teacher dashboard. Then I created a student account. So now students, for example, here, they can actually browse teachers. You can see their rates and availability. You can even book time slots. And by the way, this is all hitting a Postgres database. For example, let me click this database button on top left corner and we have data in our students table. We have data in our teachers table. We also have more data on the users, but I don't wanna show my personal emails in there, so we're not gonna go there. So this actually works. Like this literally built a front end and a back end for your freaking website. I think that is pretty amazing. And by the way, you even have the ability to be both a teacher and a student on here. So I think this is pretty cool. Now, here's what I need to be honest about, okay? It set up Stripe integration, but it's not complete. The payment flow is stubbed out. Like it knows where Stripe checkout should trigger, but you need to finish the webhook handling and booking confirmation logic. It's like 70% there. And it was the exact same thing with emails from my end. Like resend is configured, but the actual email templates and triggers need work. It does know that email should send after booking, but the implementation is kind of basic. Now, when it comes to the code, it generated code that is readable. Right, You have modern React patterns with Tailwind, proper file structure, but, and this is important, it's not production ready yet. 
right? You get no error handling beyond generic messages, no time zone conversion, everything stored as UTC strings, no tests whatsoever, and the component structure could be better organized. But what does work? Okay, so the authentication is solid. You get proper session management, you get role-based access, the database schema is reasonable and properly migrated. And when it comes to credits with Abacus AI, I used exactly 2,253 credits. That's about a fifth of the monthly free tier. And the total time it took me to build this, 20, 25 minutes, including answering questions and setting up API keys. Now, here's what Abacus AI has changed for me personally. Because like I went from, this will take weeks, maybe over a month, dude, right? To just here, here's a working prototype in just 25 minutes. Everything you just saw would have taken me honestly, realistically over a month to complete and build properly. And on my friend's end, cost him around 10 to $50,000 if he actually did hire me out for this. Now, is this production ready? No. Would I deploy this for paying customers right now? Absolutely not. But if he wants to test it, if his students will actually use a booking system, he can use this today. And if it works great, we rebuild it properly. If it doesn't, we save weeks of finding out. And I think this is amazing because now I actually have the ability if a customer can't pay my normal rates because it takes so little work to build a prototype now on my end, I can actually charge less and get even more clients and make even more money in the long run. So I think this is an absolutely game changer. So make sure you check them out. Now let's talk about pricing really quick. So $10 a month gets you 10,000 credits. And this build in particular, use about 2,200. So realistically, you can probably build three to four apps like this per month on just the basic tier. Now, one thing I do wanna talk about is that they are running a $2,500 weekly competition for the best deep agent builds on their website. And if you make something cool, worth entering, do it, <laughs> right? So the link is in the description, 10 bucks, try it out. Also, thanks to Abacus AI for sponsoring this video and letting me be completely honest about what works and what doesn't. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts. I'll see y'all next one. Peace.